If you are looking to generate enemy style images without any barriers, then you might have a look at this Neta Lumina model which has just been released. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please subscribe and like the video. Let me show you how exactly this model looks like. So this is an enemy style image which has been created from a simple text prompt. Enemy refers to a style of animation which primarily originates from Japan. It is characterized by vibrant visuals, expressive characters and diverse storytelling genres. Whereas the model's name is quite interesting. Neta Lumina literally combines Neta which is a Japanese term meaning gag or source material and then Lumina is Latin for light. So it could mean that this is a model that illuminates creative ideas. We are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works by generating various enemy style images. Now I would have to be very careful while I generate these images because uh, the model has no sort of censorship. So you have to be uh, using your own due diligence, make sure that you properly put negative prompting so that it doesn't generate any NSFW or any such like uh, images for you if that is what you're looking for. Now, before I show you how to get it installed and we start generating, let me give you a very, very quick overview of this model. So the model is quite interesting in the sense that this is not the first model they have created. This has been built on top of another Lumina model which we uh, covered on the channel around four months ago and then previously six months ago they uh, started you know releasing these Lumina models. Now this model which is Neta Lumina is uh, different in, in a sense that it enhances its predecessors with extensive fine tuning on a curated data set of over 13 million enemy style images and multilingual tag annotations. For text encoder, it uses Gemma. And if you look at its benchmarking information, this model has shown quite a good natural language understanding where it can accurately interpret and visualize complex prompts. So if you're looking for a character design in animation, or if you want to have a storyboarding in enemy style or poster or digital illustration without any barrier within an enemy and related aesthetic domains, this could be a good choice. But as I said, uh, there are no barriers, no sensors. So make sure that you know what you are doing. Okay. Now this is a quick intro of the model. Let me now show you how to get it installed. So first up, you would need to have Comfy UI. Comfy UI, if you don't know, is a node based tool which you can use to generate images and videos from your text prompts. I have already done a very easy to understand tutorial on Comfy UI. So just go to my channel, search with Comfy UI tutorial and just watch this first video. This is going to make you a hero from zero in Comfy UI in no time. So I am assuming that if you're following, you already have installed Comfy UI and you are aware of its basic concepts. Secondly, what you need to do is to um, simply just go to the models page and start downloading the model. For that, let me show you. Just go to the Hugging Face page of model and I will um, also drop the link to it in video's description. From there, click on files. Just come down. And then this is a model file, just right click on it and then save link as go to wherever you have installed your Comfy UI and then in the models directory, go to UNet and save that file. I already have downloaded it. And then you would need to have the text encoder, which primarily deals with your text prompt. This is a Java one, just right click on it and then save link as go to models and then just go to text encoders directory and save it there. This is a Jamma one. I already have it. And now lastly, you would need to download this VAE component of the model, which is variational auto encoder, right click again, save link as, and then just save it in the V directory. Variational auto encoder is 
<clears throat> the component which converts your image from latent space to pixel space or vice versa. If you don't know what latent space is, this is where model works. Pixel space is where we work. I have again done a very detailed video on latent space, which you can watch here if you like. Okay, so that is all you need to do. And then you would just need to load this workflow. I will also drop the link to it in video description. You can download. You can also grab it from your hugging face card. I have just done some cosmetic changes on it. Also make sure that you have the latest and updated version of Confio, otherwise this won't work. Simplest way of updating is to just click on this manager and then click update Confio. That's it. Okay, so now you can see that I already have generated it. Let me now give it another prompt. So I have given it quite a detailed prompt which primarily starts with like this. So make sure that you also start your prompt like this where I am telling it that you are an assistant designed to generate enemy images based on textual prompt and then this tag prompt start and then this is a one girl solo silver hair and all that um, stuff around that it is a mystical composition framed by the golden ratio and it's quite detailed the good thing is that they have also shared a prompting guide which you can check from their model card so let me run this it is going to go through all the steps and I will generate it and then show you because it could generate anything. You can see that it is running case sampler. Okay, so you can see that now it has produced this sort of image and I had to do a lot of reruns because it is it was producing many NSFW or not safe for work images, if you know what I mean. And I also had to adjust the uh, negative prompt, which is a box if you just go here. So this is where I needed to put a lot of keywords so that it doesn't show what it was showing earlier. And there you go, looks pretty cool. Now, one thing I have found out is that if you remove those um, words, which you don't want to see in the image, and then you play around with it, it produces even better images, by the way. Anyway, also make sure that you don't put in like pencil or blur or these sort of words in your prompt otherwise it doesn't produce a good image and this one looks quite good i would say okay now let me try out another one so i'm going to run this image here this prompt here sorry and while it runs let me also show you the vram consumption so consuming just uh, 11 and a half gp of vram which is quite quite big i would say but not bad i think the quality is quite good i will take it any day and there you go another good stuff i think this is also quite good i would say and your creativity is your limit um, also you can see that in the case sampler i am just following 30 steps as per their recommendation cft or this is for the prompt adherence for the model they have recommended the value from 4 to 5.5 you can even play with it to see where it exactly works properly and the sampler is res multi-step which we are using so sampler affects the quality speed and style of output image whereas scheduler which we are using linear quadratic it controls how noise is gradually removed from the latent image and i have done another separate video on scheduler and sampler and comfy ui it's a very customizable very powerful tool okay let me do a one final one and then we'll call it a day and there you go so this shows the beach scene and it is pretty fine in a sketchy way not bad at all okay so play around with it let me know what do you think i also want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video if you're looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable prices then just check out that one.co i will drop the link to the website in video description they are offering true serverless gpus thanks for all the support and please subscribe and like the video